Your liver is a powerhouse organ that plays a vital role in keeping your body running smoothly. But when it's under stress, it can lead to conditions like cirrhosis. The good news is, there are early indicators that can give you a heads up, allowing you to take action and seek help when it matters most. In this video, we're going to explore six early signs of liver cirrhosis, and I'll be explaining them in a way that's easy to grasp, even if you're not a medical expert. So, grab a notepad, get comfy, and let's get started on this journey to better liver health. What is liver cirrhosis? Cirrhosis is a serious condition where the liver undergoes severe scarring. Think of it like this. Every time your liver faces an injury, whether it's from excessive alcohol consumption or other liver diseases like hepatitis, it tries its best to heal itself. But here's the catch. During this healing process, scar tissue starts to form. As cirrhosis progresses, more and more scar tissue builds up. This creates a big problem because it makes it really tough for the liver to carry out its essential functions. In fact, advanced cirrhosis can even become life-threatening. The damage caused by cirrhosis is typically irreversible. Once it's there, it's there. However, there's a silver lining. If liver cirrhosis is caught early and the root cause is treated, we can limit further damage. And in rare cases, it may even be reversed. So, if you or someone you know is dealing with liver issues, it's crucial to get informed. Stick around as we delve deeper into the signs of liver cirrhosis. Number one, nausea or loss of appetite. Nausea and loss of appetite are early warning signs that something might be off with your liver. When your liver is affected by cirrhosis, it can't function as efficiently. This can lead to a buildup of toxins in your body, which can make you feel nauseous and can even make food less appealing. So, how does this all connect? Well, when your liver isn't working properly, it struggles to break down food and process nutrients. This can lead to a decrease in appetite, and the feeling of nausea can be a result of the toxins building up in your body. Think of it like this. Imagine your liver as a filter. If it's clogged or not working efficiently, it can't effectively clean your blood and process what you eat. That's why you might experience these early signs. It's crucial to catch these signs early because with the right care and lifestyle changes, you can help slow down the progression of cirrhosis and improve your overall health. So, if you or someone you know is experiencing persistent nausea or loss of appetite, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional. Early intervention can make a world of difference. Remember, your health is important. Number two, feeling weak or tired. Feeling weak or tired is one of the earliest signs of liver cirrhosis. Your liver plays a crucial role in storing and releasing energy, like a battery. When it's not functioning well, you can feel drained and tired. But how does it happen? Well, as liver cirrhosis progresses, the liver tissue becomes scarred and can't work properly. This scarring affects its ability to store and release energy, leading to fatigue. It's important to note that feeling weak or tired is just one of the early signs. Other symptoms of liver cirrhosis may include jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes, swelling in the abdomen, and easy bruising. So, how is feeling weak or tired connected to liver cirrhosis? Think of your liver as the engine that keeps your body running smoothly. When it's damaged, like a faulty engine, you don't get the energy you need and you feel tired. Early detection of liver cirrhosis is crucial because if left untreated, it can lead to severe complications. So. If you're feeling weak or tired consistently, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional. Number three, feeling generally ill. Let's start by talking about what it means to feel generally ill. This term refers to a general sense of not feeling well. You might experience things like fatigue, weakness, and just an overall sense of not being your usual self. Now, let's connect the dots to liver cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis is a condition where the liver becomes scarred and damaged over time. It can be caused by various factors like excessive alcohol consumption, viral hepatitis, or other chronic liver diseases. Feeling generally ill can be one of the early signs of liver cirrhosis. You see, as the liver becomes more damaged, it struggles to perform its vital functions. This can lead to a buildup of toxins in your body, which in turn can make you feel unwell. So how does this happen? When your liver is healthy, it helps filter out toxins from your bloodstream. However, in cirrhosis, the liver's ability to do this is compromised. As a result, those toxins can build up, affecting your overall well-being. Number four, upper abdominal pain. So what exactly is upper abdominal pain? 
Well, it's that discomfort or ache you feel in the area just below your ribs, right here. It's a common symptom that can be caused by a variety of factors. And today, we're focusing on its link to liver health. Now, let's talk about how upper abdominal pain occurs. When your liver is under stress or experiencing damage, it can trigger this discomfort. This can happen due to inflammation, swelling, or other issues in the liver. It's like a warning signal from your body that something isn't right. The connection between upper abdominal pain and liver cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis is a condition where healthy liver tissue is replaced by scar tissue, usually as a result of long-term liver damage from things like alcohol abuse, viral infections, or other factors. As the liver becomes more scarred, it struggles to perform its essential functions, like filtering toxins from the blood and producing important proteins. This leads to a range of symptoms, including that upper abdominal pain we discussed earlier. Understanding the connection between upper abdominal pain and liver cirrhosis is crucial because catching it early can make a huge difference in treatment and management. If you or someone you know is experiencing persistent upper abdominal pain, it's essential to seek medical attention for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Number five, visible blood vessels that look like spiders. Let's start with what these visible blood vessels that resemble spiders are. You might have noticed them on your skin. They're tiny, red or bluish lines that radiate out from a central point, just like spider legs. These are called spider angiomas, and they occur when small blood vessels near the surface of the skin become dilated or enlarged. Now, you might wonder how these spider angiomas form. Well, they're usually a result of increased pressure in the blood vessels. In the case of liver cirrhosis, the liver struggles to function properly, leading to a backup of blood in the veins. This increased pressure can cause these small blood vessels on the skin to expand and become visible. So, why is this important? Spider angiomas can serve as a visual clue, indicating that there might be an underlying issue with the liver. Liver cirrhosis is a serious condition where healthy liver tissue is replaced with scar tissue, and it's often caused by long-term excessive alcohol consumption or other liver diseases. Spotting spider angiomas early on can be crucial. It gives you a heads up that something might be going on with your liver, even before other symptoms of cirrhosis show up. Remember, early detection and intervention can make a big difference in managing and treating liver cirrhosis. Number six, redness on the palms of your hands. You might be wondering, why should you be concerned about the color of your palms? Well, the answer lies in your liver, one of the body's hardest working organs. Liver cirrhosis doesn't usually show noticeable symptoms in its early stages, making it a silent danger. But your body sometimes sends subtle signals, like those red palms, to alert you. The redness we're talking about is called palmar erythema. It's when the palms of your hands turn a reddish color. This is one of the early signs that something might be amiss with your liver. So, how does this happen? Palmar erythema occurs due to the increased blood flow to the palms of your hands. You see, your liver filters the blood, and when it's damaged, it can't do this efficiently. The blood therefore carries toxins and waste products to other parts of the body, including your hands. Now, let's talk about the connection between palmar erythema and liver cirrhosis. This redness on the palms is a consequence of your liver's struggle to clean your blood properly. As the liver damage progresses, so does the redness. It's a warning sign telling you to pay attention to your liver health. If you notice palmar erythema, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional. Early detection and management of liver cirrhosis can make a significant difference in your long-term health. Remember, liver cirrhosis is a serious condition, and it's always better to be safe than sorry. Keep an eye on your body's signals and take action if needed. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe for more health-related content. Take care of your liver and take care of yourself. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.